Welcome back to 3D Methanol. Today we're going to be extending on the animation and covering a few extra pieces. This is the completed item. Just a quick knock up to show you what you can do. So let's get started. Right, here we are with the methanol molecule again. What we're going to do is create a duplicate. So what we need to do is get to the end of the timeline and increase it to accommodate. Now we've selected all of them. I think that's all. Yes. Now we select it all, we go to group and we group them. Group one is fine. Now it's all as one group. You can group after you've animated and it'll hold the animation. What we now want to do is make a copy of these molecules. We go clone, and we say copy. Group 2 is a good name, say OK. On stage, if we select here and drag, you can see now it's an exact copy overlaying. We right click and go freeze selection. Even better, hide selection. Put it unfreeze first. Now we're left with group one. What we want to do is at frame 100, change it to invisible. We open track view, dope sheet. Select group one, come up to keys, time, tracks, visibility track, add, open, and there's visibility track. And I'll go and zoom in to get a better view. We add a keyframe on frame 100. We also put a keyframe on frame 99. Right click to open up your properties on your curves. Change these so that they are abrupt changes. Same with that one. On second frame we want value to be zero. First frame which is going to be still one. We close that. Minimize. Now you see frame 99, they are visible. Frame 100, they're invisible. So now what we do is we unhide all. and we then hide the invisible one. Now these are still following the existing animation. We select them and we delete their animation. So from frame 100 these have now no animation. We come back to group and we ungroup again.
but we can still do that. Now we go auto key, set, select all of them, set manual key, and then move slider to frame 200. And let's just slide them up a little. And let's do a bit of a rotate. And we unselect. This is just a quick demo. Say group, group again into group two. It's now a group. While it's open, we go to our dope sheet track view. On group two, we select, go tracks, visibility track, add, do likewise in the visibility on frame 100. and on frame 101. You right click, change the curves. Now on this one, we want frame 100 to be zero value and frame two on the timeline frame 101 to be full. We now go unhide all, so we can check, and we notice that we have on frame 100 an overlap of invisibility. So what we do is, we go and say frame 99, which moves that keyframe up, and on this one we then say frame 100 moves that one up. Now if we check, it's working. We close them down. Now in the window, you can notice there's a ghosting. That's for you to see that they are invisible, but still to see them on stage. And as we move along, the other ones then carry on because they swap out. This one now is the finished product. As you can see, there's ghosting in the background, which shows you all the different ones that are invisible. At this point, they've swapped over. And because of the transition between these ones, I've staggered the setting. So if we do that, you can see they're only half visible. If I do a render, oops, change this to single. You can see they're halfway between one and the other. Reason being is these ones have got curved bonds and these ones have got straight bonds. So you make a phase from one to the other. With this animation to achieve this, I had three sets of atoms separating and joining. You can have as many sets as you want to achieve your goal. But the basic idea with the invisibility on and off, you can then set loads of identicals on top of each other. And they where one stops is where the other one continues from. And you don't notice the difference until it's all played.